Everybody loves Peru. So why not build your own? For this project, you'll need brown polymer clay, black glass beads, a bolt, various nuts and washers to fit that bolt, a plastic jar, garden wire, plant pot, wire cutters, and a craft knife. First, let's take a piece of wire and wrap it around the bolt to create a support structure for the arms. I'm using two shades of brown polymer clay to create an artificial wood grain effect. Start by flattening out your dark clay and arranging strips of the lighter brown on top. You want to fold this lengthways. Keep folding and stretching the clay in the same direction until you start to see the pattern appear. Once you have the wood grain effect, roll it out flat, but not too thin. You can just about see the wood grain effect here, the camera doesn't quite pick it up. Using your bolt as a guide, measure enough clay to cover the top two thirds of the bolt and trim off the excess. From the excess clay, cut off a small strip and use that to secure the arms in place before continuing. Once you've secured the arms, place the bolt back on the clay and trim off the excess again, leaving just enough to cover the body like this. Once that is complete, you can start wrapping the arms. Using the largest piece of your excess clay, start to form a head. Roll some clay into strands about the same thickness as the arms and wrap those around the body to give it some extra dimension. You want to create an organic plant-like structure so roll out some really thin strands and put them all over the body as well. Once you've done that, it's time to add in spaces for the eyes and the mouth. Then it's time to add in your black glass beads for your eyes. Make sure you put the beads in so that the hole that goes through the centre isn't visible. Once you've finished that, it's time for the first bake in the oven. Follow your manufacturer's recommended guidelines for your particular brand of polymer clay. Once it's finished baking, you can add extra thin strands onto the surface to cover up any areas that got flattened during handling. Once you've finished that, you can put it back into the oven for another 5 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it though because you only have to bake a very small amount of clay this time. Once it's finished baking this time, we're going to try and add some extra definition by using some brown acrylic paint. 
using a soft brush, I'm going to paint this on and then wipe off the excess from the surface using a paper towel. This should leave the dark colour from the brown paint in all the crevices, but leave the surface the same colour it was to begin with. Whilst wiping off the excess paint, be careful not to damage any of the finer strands of clay. These may be fragile. Once you finish the painting, it will look much better, and as you can see here, you could just leave it at this stage. You could put it into a plant pot with something to hold it up, and there you go, one finished cooked figurine. However, we're going to keep going because we want this one to dance. Take your plastic jar and cut a hole in the centre of the lid. I painted my lid black so it isn't quite so obvious and I've also stuck some dried dirt onto the surface to make it look a bit more like the surface of a plant pot with soil. Screw a nut onto the bolt but don't tighten it all the way down. Add the metal washers, this will act as a counterweight. And secure this with a nut. Screw the lid back onto the jar and now you have your very own bubble head style dancing Groot. All you need to do now is stick it into your plant pot. Move it around to make sure it won't hit off the side of the pot. And once you're happy, it's time to actually secure it in place. Normally I'd use a hot melt glue gun to secure this in place, but not everybody has one of those. A cheap and simple alternative is self-adhesive, double-sided foam pads. Place a layer of these on the bottom of the jar. Press firmly to secure it into the plant pot. To give it a bit more weight and added stability, I'm filling in the gap around the plastic jar with some old fish tank gravel. You could use sand, gravel, stones from your garden, whatever you have to hand. To cover up the gravel and to make it look a bit nicer on top, I'm going to use some of this moss. This particular moss comes dried and compressed in a block. All you have to do is add a chunk to some hot water and it'll grow back up to its normal size. Make sure you leave it to dry again before you use it for this project. Then all you need to do is surround it with the moss. And you're done! You have your very own dancing group bobblehead. If you've enjoyed this project, hit that like button. Tell us what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.